Nominate someone in need of a new furnace this winter, we'll tell you how. Then we'll take a look at a real-life wonderland before Kim Miles from Own Network's Homemade Simple stops by with some home makeover tips. Keep it right here, your real estate news starts now. Thank you for watching the Real Estate News. I'm your host, Stacey Hansen. Let's look at your headlines. Heat Up Wisconsin is looking for nominations from community members for families in need of a new furnace this winter. The nonprofit Heat Up Wisconsin gives up to 100 free Lennox furnaces to residents across Wisconsin and Michigan's Upper Peninsula each year. Lennox Industries donates the furnaces to participating dealers in the area, and those dealers and their employees in turn donate the installation materials and labor to install the furnaces. Honeywell also provides free thermostats to include with each furnace installation. The organization is asking community members to nominate those in dire financial need and those with a history of military or civic service for a free furnace. You can nominate yourself or someone you know by completing a form online at heatupwisconsin.com and going to the nominate tab. Let's help keep everyone warm this winter. Well, crowdfunding is about more than technologies these days, it's been catching on in real estate too. Platforms like Realty Mogul, Property Moose, and Fundrise are currently leading the pack. Real estate crowdfunding has already raised over $1 billion globally last year, according to a report released by Mass Solution. With Realty Mogul, investors can contribute as little as $5,000, pool their money together with other users, and invest in a real estate project. According to the site's founder and CEO, the average return Return on investment ranges from 7% to as high as 20%. Realty Mogul already has over 17,000 active investors in its community and together have invested more than $80 million in over 250 estates since the platform went live in 2013. Well, some Portland residents aren't too happy about the recent influx of Californians. According to the Oregonian newspaper, someone has been placing stickers on Portland homes for sale signs with an image of California crossed out, similar to a no smoking sign. The reason? A lot of homes in Portland are going into bidding wars between native Portlandians and Californians. Those homes have been selling for an average of $25,000 over list price these last three months, mostly to Californians. Northern Californians have been pricing out of Bay Area real estate and have been moving out of the area. The Portland market has been exploding as a result. According to Yahoo Real Estate, 25 to 30 percent of new Oregonians have been California transplants over the last five years. The ranch that Michael Jackson once hoped to make his own wonderland went up for sale in Las Vegas. The 10-acre Prim Ranch compound has a water park, an underground shooting range, and an auto museum complete with its own gas station. Jackson first visited the compound in 2007 and declared he was going to buy it. Though that didn't work out, Concierge Auctions is selling it without reserve, meaning there is no minimum bid. The place was originally listed at $14.5 million, but it could go higher or lower at auction. The grounds also include a casino, resort-style spa, automated golf driving range, and world-class world -class equestrian facilities, not to mention a 12-bedroom, 19-bathroom mansion. Bidding on the ranch is closing now, so one lucky winner just got their own wonderland. Stay tuned, we have more coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Real Estate News. With me now is Savannah Hauglid from Century 21 Affiliated and also Anessa Baker. She's a certified mortgage planner at Fairway Mortgage. Welcome, ladies. Nice to have you here. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. So you're here to talk about the Home Scouting mobile app. Can you tell us about it? Sure, you bet. Thanks for having us, too. Um, a couple years ago, um, the National Association of Realtors came out with, or they did a survey, and they found that 92% of home buyers started their home search online. Um, so we decided to team up with um, Home Buyers Marketing, a real estate company that um, came up with this great uh, mobile app idea, and where people can actually search for uh, all the listings on the MLS. Um, and while also having access to a preferred lender and a preferred um, realtor. So um, we found that most buyers are not ready um, to go out and purchase a home right away and they're basically um, contacting us for information. So we feel the app is a great way that they're able to um, 
have the freedom to view the properties um, and just be able to go online and um, just have have the freedom to um, search, do the property searches, um, and also have us available um, at their fingertips as well. This sounds intriguing. So what features does the app actually have? Um, most importantly, it's a password protected site um, where you know, we do not sell your information or the customer's information at all. Um, a lot of those apps, um, the home search apps, the information is actually sold um, to realtors for their leads. So um, that's really one important piece. Um, the other thing is they can search 100% um, search of the listings that are on the MLS. Um, it will show, they can look at all the pictures, all the details um, of all the properties that they, they are interested in. They can, sped up, they can um, set up specific searches based on their criteria. So if they're interested in a property in Verona, say in a price range from 300 to 350, those properties will um, come up so they won't get any other properties. Um, if a property, um, is listed a few days after they're on the app and they set up their search, they'll get an email that states um, there's, there's new properties on the market in your criteria. So um, that's a pretty, pretty neat feature as well. But you, we could go all day um, with, with all the things that it actually does. So um, yeah. Cool. So just a couple seconds left. Savannah, how does somebody sign up? Well, it's super easy. You just go into your app store on your iPhone or Android and you search for home scouting. Download the app and sign up as a new user and make sure to enter in the VIP code 2121 and you create your private account and start home shopping. Um, and just make sure to enter in a contact number so Anessa can set you up with a price range that's comfortable for your lifestyle. And um, pre-approvals are free. There is no obligation to use us. We just hope to earn your business along the way. That sounds great. Thanks so much for stopping by today, ladies. Thank you. you Stay tuned. We have more coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Real Estate News. With me now is Joe Ring. He's Executive Vice President of Land Services at Park Town. Welcome, Joe. Nice to have you here. Nice to have you. Nice to be here, Stacy. Sure. Now, what is Park Town? We're a family-owned real estate company. It's my father, my two brothers, and I, and we own, lease, and manage commercial properties here in Madison, but we also have a large mixed-use development in the forest called Conservancy Place. Now, what is Conservancy Place? Conservancy Place is one of the best uh, new developments in Dane County. It is 650 acres with commercial and residential use. Within residential, we have apartments, condos, and single-family lots, but the natural amenities are second to none. So what amenities does it offer? At the heart of it, there's a 140-acre nature conservancy that surrounds 3.2 miles of the Ahara River. Within the conservancy and river, there's 23 different species of fish, 100 species of birds, natural spring-fed uh, springs, and uh, a natural sedge meadow, uh, a rare sedge meadow. Sounds like a paradise. Are there homes available there now? Uh, there are about 200 homes right now. We do have uh, approval for 1,000 homes, so there's still more growth to happen. And right now we're putting in the roads for our next phase of single family, which includes a uh, 2016 Parade of Homes site. Um, so has Conservancy Place been in the Parade of Homes before? Uh, we have. We've, this will be the fifth time uh, in the Parade of Homes for us. Well, congratulations. So why do people want to build a home that's in the Parade of Homes? Well, the Parade of Homes brings out thousands of people to your site, so getting all those people to Conservancy Place to see all those natural amenities, uh, it allows us to give discounts on the lots. The builders use it as a marketing opportunity, so they reduce their cost and their suppliers reduce their cost. So they get, the buyer gets to save thousands of dollars. As an example, we've discounted our lots between $9,000 and $28,000 for this event. Wow, that's great. So tell us a little bit about DeForest. Any little known facts? Well, a little bit. It's developing its own little downtown. It's small, but it's developing, and it's a little closer than people think. Uh, it's only 10 minutes away from the East Town uh, corridor over there with the new hospital that's being built. And given traffic conditions, it's only 20 to 25 minutes downtown or the west side. And the school district is comparable to the best districts in uh, Dane County. If people would like to see a comparison, we have one at our website, conservancyplace.com. 
Sounds great. Well, thanks so much for stopping by today, Joe. It was nice to have you here. Thanks, Stacy. Thanks for having me. And you stay tuned. We'll have more coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Real Estate News. With me now is Josh Lavik. He's a real estate agent at Josh Lavik & Associates with Keller Williams Realty. Welcome back, Josh. Nice to, nice to have you here again. Hey, thanks, Stacy. Now, we're talking about renting versus buying today. Mm -hmm. um, for those who are renting, when should, should they consider buying a home? And what are your thoughts about renting versus owning? Yeah, sure. Uh, probably the biggest factor about, you know, if you're looking to possibly buy a property or not um, would be the future and how long you plan to stay in a specific location. So um, generally a good rule of thumb is if you're going to be here for, you know, more than two to three years, then it might be a good idea to really consider buying. You know, and really the benefit is going to be, you know, you're going to probably have some home appreciation. Historically, we've averaged three to four percent appreciation, you know, over the long haul. Um, so it's not a get-rich-quick scheme, but definitely you'll, uh, you'll be in a better financial position if you do end up staying more than that three or four years. So for renters, other than the monthly rent payments that you're making, what other costs are associated with renting that people should really consider? Yeah, sure. Um, as a renter, um, you've also got your security deposit, so um, typically it's going to be about one month's rent. You also have some renter's insurance, so you know maybe 10 to $20 a month to cover the interior contents. Um, and then rents can range, you know, those are, there's quite the spectrum out there, but I've found to be maybe, uh, you know, four to 600 per month per bedroom is pretty common in our area. And if you compare this to the cost of owning, say, a small starter home, you know, I've got two houses, for example, under 160,000, um, one at 1801 Ray Lane, another one at 4705 Dakota. Um, and both of these you can get in and uh, actually have a monthly payment of less than $1,000 a month. So with owning a home, what costs are involved there? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. So owning your, your primary cost, your monthly payment is going to be based on your home payment, uh, or excuse me, home price, um, and then of course your loan amount. So the bigger down payment you put down on the house, you know, the lower loan amount, so your payment will be less. But, um, you know, that can fluctuate based on if you want a really nice house or not so nice. It's kind of up to you. What about closing costs? How much are those? Yeah, you know, I found typical closing costs for conventional programs are maybe around 1500 to 2000 They could be a little more for other specialized programs. And then on top of that, you're going to have, you know, two to three months of other uh, escrow inspection and other costs like that. So any other advantages of owning or renting? Uh, well, of course, renting, you know, you've got uh, definitely more flexibility. Um, you know, you're not on the hook for repairs if the water heater breaks or something like that, and you have someone to call. And of course, for owning, you can, uh, you know, you can really truly personalize it, make the house your own. You've got built-in equity, um, again, the appreciation we talked about. And then there's also uh, something called the mortgage interest tax deduction. So the government, you know, wants people to become homeowners, so they offer a deduction on your income taxes for that. Well, thanks, Josh. It was nice to have you back. Great. Thank you. And you stay tuned. We'll have more coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Real Estate News. With me now is Jeff Thomas. He's a broker associate at Potterton Rule, Inc. Welcome, Jeff. Nice to have you here. Thank you. So now, how long have you been in business? 15 years. Wow. Now, you're a local business as well, right? Yeah, we have... Uh we call ourselves a mom and pop shop. We've uh, been in business for 75 years. We just celebrated our 75th anniversary last year. Uh, we have an office in Mineral Point, Dodgeville, and Mount Horb. Well, congratulations on that. Now, what gives you the most satisfaction over the years here when working with the buyers? I think in our market, the housing market in our area, the first time home buyers drive the market and I get the most satisfaction from helping them through the process. What's your best advice for somebody out there trying to sell their property? If you're thinking about putting your house up for sale, the best thing you can do is maybe go out and interview two or three different realtors. Not all realtors are the same. Uh, you just want to make sure you find somebody you're comfortable working with. Now, do you pre-qualify your buyers? We try to pre-qualify our buyers on the first contact. Okay. Now, um, what is your biggest fear in real estate, would you say? Probably making sure the interest rates stay down. Yeah, that's a, that's a big one because you can't really control that. Now, what would you say is the hardest part of your job? There's a process when you go through um, 
selling a house and you've got the home inspection, you've got the appraisal, you've got the financing. Uh, it's making sure all the pieces come together and really staying in communication with all parties involved. The lender, the buyer or the seller depending on how you're working with, uh, home inspectors, uh, etc. So any other tips for our viewers out there? Uh, it's good to, if you're thinking about doing something different, uh, it's good to talk to a lender and get pre-approved. And like any lender, they're all looking for your business. So uh, just like looking for a realtor, when you're shopping for a lender, uh, pick and choose and see who's going to give you the best, best deal. And your motto is bigger isn't always better when it comes to working with Correct. companies. Well, thanks so much for stopping by today, Jeff. It was nice to meet you. Thanks for having me on your show. And you stay tuned. We'll have more coming up right after this. Welcome back to the Real Estate News. Well, the cool weather is coming, and that's why fall is the time when many of us begin thinking about giving our homes a fall makeover. Joining us today with some timely tips on giving your home that fall makeover is Kim Miles. She's a past winner of HGTV's Design Star. Currently, she's the designer of the show Homemade Simple on the Oprah Winfrey Network. Welcome, Kim. So nice to have you here. Thanks for having me, Stacy. Great to be with you. So I have to ask you, what's it like to work with Oprah? <laughs> uh, oh, you know, you're the first person to ever ask me that. <laughs> Everybody wants to know, and I totally get it. And all I can say is it's as amazing as you think it is. Because I'm an Oprah baby. I remember the first episode of her show when I was 12. So the fact that she's my boss now, I mean, it's a total pinch me moment. That's a total dream come true. Amazing. Right. Oh, so tell us, um, what are some themes that you're seeing in the home design world for fall? Okay, you know, here's something that I know you don't expect me to say, but a theme that I'm seeing that is huge is tech, smart homes. That is the future. So I don't know about you, but I am never far away from my beloved smartphone. And now I can have a smart home. So here's the company you need to know about. It's Nexia Home Intelligence Systems. It is genius. Basically, it's the easy, affordable way to upgrade any home, make it smart, make it efficient. And you can do it all through your phone. So this means you can control and automate automate your lights, your thermostat, sprinklers, garage door. Um, I, they even have a smart lock and they'll text you when your kids come home. <laughs> so think about that. So you are fully connected and I bet you're thinking that sounds great, but wow, it's probably so expensive. No, you can get started for under a hundred dollars, which is amazing. Wow, that's definitely attainable. Uh so what are some other simple and relatively inexpensive things can people can do to give their home a makeover on a budget? Okay, so here's the thing. I'm the girl that loves to do a makeover on a budget. I think it's so important to not go into debt for great design. Um, so people, if they don't have a lot of time, if your viewers don't have a lot of money to allocate to it, then go DIY. Take a look around your house and see if maybe there's an item that you can reinvent and reimagine, and then you're gonna hit it with some spray paint. I do this all the time. So my thing is I collect vintage patio furniture. I use it outside, but I use it inside too. I have two 1940s chairs that I keep around my dining table. They're gorgeous, but it's vintage, right? So usually you pick it up and it needs a little TLC. You might be dealing with rust. So my go-to paint is Krylon. I love Krylon Covermax paint. And here's why I like it. It has 10 times the rust protection, which is really key. It has a 10 minute or less drying time. So seriously, if people don't have a lot of time to dedicate, I, I can't do better for you than 10 minutes. It's amazing to have a great transformation. Um, also, they have 90 five colors in the range so I swear and I promise you are going to find a color that you love with 95 colors you can't go wrong so what about dream bedrooms what do people need to consider there Okay, well, you know, dream bedrooms, bedrooms are so important. It's where we go to relax and unwind and recharge, right? So it should be beautiful. It should be serene. Um, but something that people don't consider about a bedroom is that a third of your life is actually spent in the bed itself. So you can have a beautiful space, but if the bed is not comfortable, you're not going to be happy. Um, so my go-to company is Sleep Number. And I will admit I'm a true believer because I have one. I have slept on a Sleep Number, my husband and I, for a 
11 years now. I'm never going back. It's just amazing. And what I love about it is, again, it's got that technology. So it has the Sleep IQ technology, which tracks your sleep. It tells you what your pressure points are. It gives you feedback so that when you go to adjust your sleep number, you can do it in an educated way to get the best night of sleep possible. Um, also, once you have that hooked up and it's time to design the space, you know, in a bedroom, the bed takes up a lot of visual square footage, right? That's a lot of visual real estate. So just changing the bedding can be a huge before and after. And Sleep Number has you covered there too. They have a new line. It's the smart classic bedding line. It's gorgeous. It's on trend colors as well as mix and match patterns, which I think is so fun because it lets you, no matter what your style is, customize a look that feels really considered and really well designed. So Sleep Number, they are marrying that real true comfort and great sleep to beauty. Those are the things you need to make a gorgeous room. So staying on the subject of some of that technology, let's talk about the kitchen. How do you incorporate some of your major appliances there? Okay, well, you know, kitchens, kitchens can be tough, but LG has our back because they have a brand new line that I am crushing so hard on. It's LG's black stainless steel line, and they have the black stainless steel refrigerator. So if you're only going to get one appliance this season, I would go with this because look at it. It is stunningly beautiful. It doesn't show uh, fingerprints the same way as regular stainless steel. So to me, that's a huge selling point. I hate to see a smudged surface. Um, and also it's got that tech, right? So it has LG's innovative door in door technology, which just means the release of a button and you have access to all those grab and go items, you know, yogurt, milk, soda, that kind of thing. You're in and you're out, it's super efficient. And it also has 30 cubic feet of usable space. So think about it, you know, as we move toward holiday and you're thinking about entertaining, with this refrigerator, you shop once and everything's going to fit. So you are earning time back in your life to do things you'd rather do, which to me, that is everything. That is a well-designed life. Well, thanks so much, Kim. Where can people go for more information? Well, they can see everything I just outlined at tipsontv.com, as well as a lot more inspiration. Well, thanks so much, and you stay tuned. We'll have more coming up right after this. From all of us here, I want to thank our guests for stopping by and all of you for tuning in to your real estate news. I'm Stacey Hansen. We'll see you next time.